Bienvenue à Paris. Welcome to Paris. to be back here. Let me tell you, it was quite a journey to finally <laughs> arrive here in Paris. <laughs> I am so tired, but we have so much exciting things to do. Um, basically, long story short, first flight got delayed, missed our connection, got on a different connection, connection got delayed. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> It was, uh, it was quite something, but now we are here. We're gonna show you this hotel real quick. Um, this hotel, actually, it's not our first visit here oh. because our love story kind of started here. Yeah. I'll let Tracy tell you a little bit more uh, a little bit later. And they gave us some, <laughs> oh, sorry. I just really wanted that one. French oh, macaroon. Does he have? Mm. Oh my God. Oh, we're up to a good start, boys. Oh man. This is gonna be a good day. Okay, put a little makeup on, feel a little bit revived. So let's show you around. So on this side, we actually have a working station and David's favorite part, of course, is a pinball machine back here. First thing you notice, he literally beelined it to it. Anyways, and then have a king size bed over here with some robes, perfectly comfy, I've already laid on it. And then our bathroom, beautiful shower here as well. One thing that we really love and stands out with this place is the style of it. Even downstairs, it's not standard. So like when you check in, you actually check in at the bar. And it's just, there's something different about it that we love it. We'll show you. Check this place out. So this is why we love this hotel. The look of it and style is just so unique. So basically the story of us being here is a trip when we were in Paris and we got engaged. This was the last night that we spent here in Paris was here. And we just had such a great time, super good food. So yeah, it just has a little special spot in our heart. So now it's time to leave our hotel. I'm gonna put their information down below because they're very nice to us. And now, well, we're in Paris. So we're gonna start with the best bakery in the city. Merci beaucoup. Bonne fin de journée. So we just arrived at La Boulangerie Utopie and according to Google, our Uber driver and this massive line right there, it's the best bakery <laughs> in Paris. Let's go check it out. Et puis uh, je prends un, un dôme au chocolat et puis un éclair au chocolat. We've got the goods. I have high yeah. expectations. Google reviews are always good, but when you show up somewhere and there's a lineup. I mean, like, and they were just pumping it out, too. That's key. Also, I'm frozen. <laughs> I know, like, there's no snow right now, but trust me, it's really cold. So first we have a sandwich to eat, might as well. And the bread looks so good. Mmm. You know when it has that crunch, but it's still chewy and soft at the same time? Amazing. <laughs> All right. So we had to get some sweet stuff as well because it looked fantastic. So we got a classic chocolate eclair and some type of chocolate don't, which is gonna be really messy because we don't have forks either. Okay, so first up, chocolate eclair because it's easier to eat, I think. Oh, I'm gonna get, no, you take the first bite because I'm not gonna get any stuffing. Oh, it's chocolate inside the chocolate eclair. That's so good. Yeah? Oh my god. I'm just so cold. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not normally a huge fan of eclairs because I don't have proper ones. This one is a proper one. And up next, the chocolate dome. And we completely forgot to ask for like, a, you know, a spoon or a fork or something. It looks crazy. I have no word. This could be the best dessert I've ever had in my life. Tracy, like I'm not joking. Really? Like it's crazy that, wow, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Okay, it's my turn to try it. Hold my hands. Whew. Okay, we can't eat anymore because it's too cold outside. Ready? Come on, just do it. It's so good. <laughs> so, verdict is good, eh? Wow, 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 wow. 
Okay, my hands are literally like, I can't feel them. Hold on. The chocolateness, the sweetness, the softness, the and then the crunch yeah. at the bottom. I think what really balances it is the fact that you have like the super creamy and then the crunch. Yeah. I have to say though, like that is fantastic, but that eclair took me off guard. Really so I really think the eclair was like, anyways, so fantastic. went in that store because we were cold and I never do that normally Tracy does that but like I saw a vest I fell in love with it which never happens to me so I had to buy it but it was 20% off so it's a win well, we're on our way to a Christmas market which Tracy's very excited I'm about. so excited <laughs> just arrived at the Christmas market and there is overwhelmingly a lot of good looking food. Unfortunately we have some things tonight that we cannot eat a lot right now but man I, you definitely feel Christmas right now. So of course it is Saturday night just a few days before Christmas so let's just say that we are not the only one who thought it was a great idea to come to the most popular Christmas market in Paris. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle so warm wine is like a French thing that's pretty popular, especially during the winter, but I find it really weird. Not my cup of tea. No. <laughs> if you don't believe in Santa Claus, how do you explain that? the snow in a one horse open sleigh or the fields we go laughing all the way bells on bobtails ring making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh and song well that was good so we just got a little sandwich fresh bread a little bit of chorizo and a crazy amount of raclette cheese and it is insane they literally well as you saw like they just melted right there so the Christmas market, it's a vibe, it's really nice, but I would highly suggest to go not on a Saturday night because right now there's a crazy amount of like, people. There was at one point, it was literally a standstill. Yeah. Like just crowd, nobody could move yeah. anywhere. But good vibes, yes. filled with uh, Christmas magic Christmas. and good food. <laughs> After a 25 minute walk, we finally arrived at our destination. First of all, let's appreciate how beautiful the Eiffel Tower is at night. Second, we need to find a spot to change because we're going on a very fancy dinner cruise, Tracy and I, on the Seine, which is a body of water that goes through Paris. It's gonna be nice, nice. We found a bathroom, we have a backpack full of fancy clothes and shoes. We're good to go. This is really tiny. Not ideal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And just like that, well, it's hard to tell because like we still wear a winter jacket, but Tr Tracy has nice shoes and a dress and I have a button up and nice shoes and stuff. Okay. Welcome aboard Zouave. I think that's how you say it. So tonight we are actually invited out by Bateau Mouche and then we're on the Seine. And we have the excellence meal. So we're just going through, we're going to pick what we want 
and I am already impressed. I think we had the best seat in the house. So the dinner cruise we're currently on is going to be about 2 hours and 15 minutes. And as you can see, we go like pretty far. Like So we start here close to the Eiffel Tower, which you can already see and is stunning. But we're, are gonna, uh, we're also going to go along the Seine. We're going to see uh, the Musée du Louvre, Grand Palais, and a bunch of other uh, landmarks. All of that while drinking fancy champagne and eating a five-star meal. Tracy got the soup, well, because it's cold outside and we were freezing all day, and I've got the snail, yes snail, it's very popular in the French culture uh, to eat snail, and ravioli, and it is a delight. So right now we are boating by, I guess you can say, on the sand right beside the Eglise Notre Dame, the famous Eglise that sadly burned down not too long ago. Uh, it just partially burned down, but it's good to see that they're already doing some restoration work to bring it back to how it was before. So since we came on board, we thought, Tracy and I, that we were sitting at the back of the boat. But guess what? We're sitting at the front and this seat just became the best one in the entire boat. So for supper, I have the veal with, I think that's a sweet potato, they call it pancakes, not a pancake, more like a puree. decided to come outside on top of the boat for a minute. It's really cold, but it's really worth it because like, look at the view of the Eiffel Tower. It is fantastic. So this dinner cruise with Batumouche is 139 euros a person and that includes like a basically four meal um, Four, four course, course meal, meal plus a bottle of champagne cheese. exactly and two, two hours 15 minutes right yeah. on the canal so i would lie if i was going to tell you like this is the best meal i ever had it was not uh still it the was food good. was very good yeah but the highlight i mean what you're paying for is like the cruise on yeah. the sign seeing all the the landmarks yeah. and everything like it was so very very nice i think my point for that is if you're going to do it so you can scale down and it's still completely fine yeah there's different there's different like uh, level and different yeah. menus and different kind of boats and everything so yeah, check out the option. We're gonna put their uh, their information down great below. Great staff, great staff. Oh yeah, <laughs> shout out to Alex, our yeah. waiter. It was great. Okay, now time to go back to the hotel. <laughs> So for breakfast, there is a great selection. However, I have to say, I am still so full from last night. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna eat a little something protein to get us going because we have a really do, exciting day today. Do you have a clue on where we're going? Uh-huh, <laughs> and, and. Yeah, so anyways. Overall, yeah. a big thank you to Batemosh for having us. Information is going to be down yep. below. A big thank you to Penta Hotel for having us as well. Mm -hmm. Their information is going to, are going to be down below as well. And if you ever come here, ask for the room with a pinball machine. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so other than that, see you guys. In the next one. In Disney. I told them. <laughs>